guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela, and if you're returning from my channel, then hey, welcome back. I'm glad you decided to click on me, you know. But anyways, today I'm gonna be presenting to you guys a one week update slash review on the new M1 MacBook Pro. And also I'm gonna be showing you guys just a few customized, oh, what? Customized, oh, co co customization tips that you can use. Lord, okay, anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys that. So let's just get right on into the video. Okay, first and foremost, I'm not gonna cover the M1 Bionic chip. So like, I don't know the specs and details on that. So I just wanna put that out there. I'm just gonna be presenting my honest review on the graphics that I personally know of. All right, so first off, the first thing I wanna talk about is the processing. Now the processing of this computer is very, very fast. Now I'm only saying that because this is the first MacBook I've ever had. So like, it's not like I have had other MacBooks, but from this MacBook, it's been very fast and it works great. Clicking it is very fast compared to the other computers I've had. Now, next thing is the touch bar. Now the touch bar is really nice. I love it. When I was editing um, on my last video for iMovie, the touch bar had different little graphics and edits and quick clicks that you could basically click on to make your editing faster. So if I wanted to do a split clip, then it would pop up on the touch bar and I could easily just press it as I'm cutting up my clips. Now that was just amazing. I loved it. That's what made it easier to edit and I think you guys would love it if you're thinking about getting this computer because the touch bar is amazing. Now the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is, I'm not sure how MacBook Airs run, but since this has been my first MacBook Pro from my only experience of a week and so on, I love it. I think it's great. I think it works fast. It runs fast. It's easy to use. Now, previously I have had window computers all my life, like it, but this processing with this MacBook Pro has been fast. My stuff loads faster and it's just easier to click on things and it's just it's just so much easier like i just love it but yeah also i wanted to touch on me already being a diehard apple fan apple 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 like i love apple apple i have airpod i got it all so this just topped it off and that just says a lot because my family they hate apple they, they can't stand Apple. They're a diehard Androids, which I don't know why, but anyways, yeah, they love it. So that's, yeah, ew. Now I'm gonna talk about my likes versus my dislikes from this computer. Now, my likes are definitely the processing. The processing is very fast. Everything runs smoothly. I don't have to wait like 10 minutes for like a file to load or for like a YouTube video to like start up and stuff like that. The touch bar, like I said earlier, makes everything so much easier to click on and it just makes time just go by so much faster. I can use it for the volume to turn on my brightness, just little things just make using the computer so much better and easier. Now the biggest thing that I love personally about the MacBook and just Apple in general is how compatible it is with my phone and my iPad and just everything. So basically it's like my own little, you know, like phone and all. I just love it. It just makes it easier if I don't want to, you know, use my phone to text someone back. I can just pull this up, text them back and it's done like that. I can even get emojis on this. Like what? I just love it. Okay, now my dislikes. And these are just my honest dislikes. Okay, the pricing. Now, it's it's Apple. Obviously, it's gonna be pricey. But also, the screen size. I have a 13 inch. Now, I don't know why I was thinking 13 inches was like this long, but it's really not. It's smaller than I expected. So if you're looking to spend just a little bit more money, like maybe $100 or so, get the 16 inch. But that's just me. I probably kind of gone away with getting it, but like I said in my last video, this was a gift. So I'm grateful for this and I love it and I'm fine with it. I don't need such a big screen, so I'm fine with this. But also like I mentioned earlier with the Windows, Windows computers are cheaper. That's just how it is. Apple is expensive, but you're getting your money's worth. So if you're not looking to spend a lot of money on an Apple product and a computer, then don't get it. But if you are, then get it. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about on here is basically my reason why I kind of got it and 
that was downloading Final Cut Pro. Now, I know I just started my YouTube channel, I know it, but I am just started a new major, communications major. I wanted to get Final Cut Pro to just kind of enhance my editing and just everything with that whole aspect. So I decided to get Final Cut Pro, although I don't know how to use it yet. I'm thinking about maybe doing a separate video on that for my editing process. So if you guys are interested in that, then leave a comment down below, but just give me some time. I don't know how to work Final Cut. I've been at this computer literally an entire week since I got it, just on it. Like I'm not even watching my TV. This is literally my new TV. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the customization portion. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to customize the background of the Google screen, which I'll show you, and then also how to customize the icons of your folders. The last thing is customizing the wallpaper of your laptop to make it, you know, any way you want. So. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to customize the Google um, background. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to Google Chrome, obviously, and then when it pops up, there's gonna be a little pin at the bottom right of the computer that in it, when you hover over it, it says customize this page. So you're just gonna click on it. And then they, are, they give you a, a long list of images that you can personally use but i didn't like them they're boring so yeah i just um would upload one from my device so done so once you upload it then it should automatically press it should automatically show up on your thing so as you guys can see i already have mine like this but the next thing that you can do is you're going to go back here and we're going to adjust the color and theme of our the desktop so like yeah the desktop so you're gonna go here and they t they give you a lot of colors and see it changes up at the top so they have so many colors that you can choose from and I love this I personally like this one because it just matched my aesthetic of my Christmas thing so yeah so I just thought I'd show you guys that that was like the first thing I did when I first got mine now the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys how to do is to customize the wallpaper. And the wallpaper is basically what I have here. I customized this last week. And since Christmas is right around the corner, we're gonna do a Christmas wallpaper. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to a website titled Canva. And it's the first one at the top. And it's gonna tell you to sign in, but you can, easily just log in with your Google. I think it's gonna automatically log me in. Let's see, yeah, it automatically log me in. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press create a design. And you're not gonna click any of these, you're gonna go to custom dimensions. And if you don't know the dimensions of your computer, then you can easily go to Google and put in dimensions of whatever type of computer you have in it. It'll um, show you how much it is. So this is a MacBook Pro. So mine is 2560 by 1600 and that already popped up because I've done it already. So once you go here, then it'll give you a blank screen. And since we're gonna be customizing one, I'm gonna go to Pinterest and I'm gonna find Pinterest. I'm gonna find different cute Christmas um, pictures that I can personally use. So we're just going to scroll down. First we're gonna minimize it because we need to save them to our computer. I'm just gonna scroll down and just find any cute pictures. And then just drag them to the side of my computer. And once I find some, I'll be right back. Okay, so then once you have all of your pictures, you're gonna just take them and then just drag them onto the blank um, white thing and just rearrange them any way you want. And that's what's great about this because you can just customize it and do it however you want. You can have some pictures big, some pictures small, you know, any way you want. And it's just, it's just lit, you know? So I'm just gonna do this. 
think I'll put that right there. Love me, girls. Move that up there, move that up there. Move that up there. Then I'm gonna put Stitch. I'll put him right here. Gonna cover him up. And then put this one right up here. Bring this center back. It's a little bit bigger. Right there. This one there. And then there we have it. So since I kind of had too many pictures, I'm just gonna send this one to the trash. But once you have this and you have it arranged any kind of way you want, then you're just gonna press download. And then download again. And then it's just gonna send it to your computer. here and then you're going to add it to your photos and then in order to make it your actual wallpaper you're going to go to the top left corner with the apple hit system preferences and then you're going to go to desktop and screensaver and then it'll show all of your little pictures right here so i'm just going to go all the way to the bottom and it's going to be right here and there you go, it popped up, it's so cute. All right, so now the last thing I'm gonna do is teach you guys how to make your little um, folders, like change the different icons for them. So I'm gonna show you guys the star one. So what, what I did is I went to Julia, Julia K. Chris's website and she has different freebies and I'm gonna link her website down below. Go to design freebies and she has a whole bunch of different ones so we're gonna go to what was it desktop icons and she has this one. I'm gonna use the star one so I'm just gonna not try it. click on it and then drag it over and then exit out of this and then just hit it and then we're just gonna highlight it all and we're just gonna hit command C to copy it and then we're just gonna use click on the computer and then press new folder and then this is gonna pop up and then once you have that you're gonna click on it again and go to go get info and then it'll lead you to here. And then you're gonna click the little folder in the, the left corner. And you're gonna hit Command V. And then there you go, it pops up. And then you're just able to rename it any way you want. And it's really easy. So that's all that I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like my honest review. Like I said, I was being completely honest, so yeah that was me but anyways i also hope you guys enjoyed the customizations that i also sent you if you have any questions then just leave some comments down below and i'd be gladly to help you but before you go make sure you like comment and subscribe and also turn your bell notifications on so you always be notified when i post a video bye guys mm -hmm.